But Kev says, what are your thoughts on religious institutions such as churches accepting Bitcoin for donations or even holding it on their reserves? Should they, should they consider adopting or open to the idea? Whether it's a church, whether it's a community fund, whether it's any sort of project, the, the ones who are holding Bitcoin today, whether it's $500 worth, $1,000 worth of Bitcoin, whatever that is, they're the only ones that are going to have the, the staying power through all of this. So I don't think that it's just a good idea. I think that it's 100% necessary. If a church or an organization, not-for-profit, anything like that, if they want to be around in 10 years from now, they have to get some Bitcoin. They have to get some Bitcoin. Otherwise, they're going to be selling their church to pay, out, pay their bills or selling their venue to pay for bills, selling their building to pay off their bills. That, that's the direction we're moving. <clears throat> Look who showed up. Look who it is. Okay. He's kind of sick. We'll give him a break today. We'll give him a break. <clears throat> Uh, Rob says, happy Thanksgiving, Jordan. My favorite Bitcoin. Whoa, my favorite Bitcoin show on the internet. You take the time to answer everyone's questions, no matter how difficult or stupid. Appreciate the hard work. Keep it up. Thank you, Rob. That is very, very much appreciated. I try to anyways. But, the, you know, the thing about this show and this channel and this live chat is like, I know that everybody's at different stages here. And the... When I started this channel, I, I never wanted to get too far ahead of the people who are new to Bitcoin. As, as basic as a question is, and that's why I take time even at the start of the show to kind of explain some things that, you know, people like who, well, Craig's been here on the show for a while. Uh, Noah's been here for a very long time. Daniel, like they know all this kind of stuff. And I, I kind of feel bad wasting their time talking about it. But I also know that there's people who maybe weren't here yesterday and who are just trying to learn about Bitcoin. So I think that you still have to, that's, that was my mission. I didn't want to get too far of everybody because that's something that I struggled with, with Bitcoin was like, I'm trying to learn, but the people I'm listening to are so far ahead of me that they're, they're glossing over the things that I don't understand yet. So it's hard to listen to conversations and, and discussions when they just kind of, they say something that they think that everybody's going to understand, but half the people watching have no idea what they're talking about. So I kind of wanted to do the opposite of that and, and find out what those people are talking about, but then dive in a little bit further and see, you know, what's really going on there. 